Hi folks, this is Shefik. I just made an announcement and I published an open source package named Lightway, a partially homomorphic encryption library for Python. It wraps many partially homomorphic encryption schemes such as RSA, LGMAL, Exponential LGMAL, Elliptic Curve LGMAL, Paleor, Damgard Jurig, Okamoto Uchiyama, Benalu, Nakash Stern, and finally Goldwasser Mikali. In the README file of the repository, you can find the summary of those algorithms because some of them are homomorphic with respect to the multiplication, such as RSA and LGMAL, and some of them are homomorphic with respect to the addition, such as exponential LGMAL, elliptic curve LGMAL, Paleor, Damgard Jurig, Benalu, Nakash Stern, and finally Okamoto Uchiyama. And also, Goldwasser Mikali is homomorphic with respect to the XOR or exclusive OR. As you can see, those algorithms are all partially homomorphic instead of fully homomorphic. And fully homomorphic encryption is available in recent times, but if you consider the trade-offs, partial homomorphic encryption algorithms sometimes are more efficient and practical choice because if your task doesn't require or doesn't demand fully homomorphic features, then partial homomorphic encryption will produce much smaller ciphertext and it requires fewer computational resources when compared to fully homomorphic encryption. In this video, I'm going to show how to use Lightway library in Python from scratch. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. The easiest way to install the Lightway package is to install it from Python package index or shortly pip. All you need is to run pip install Lightway's command. Thereafter, you will be able to import the library as from Lightway import Lightway. Then you will be able to use the functionalities of this partially homomorphic encryption library. Let's build a crypto system first. Crypto system is equal to Lightway. While initializing this Lightway package, we have to set algorithm name as input argument because that's mandatory. Besides, you can set case of your crypto system, I mean private and public KPR. Also, this KPR can be stored in an external file. You can set the K file directly or while generating case, you can set the K size of your crypto system. But I'm not going to set them. I'm just going to set the algorithm here. And for this experiment, let's use RSA. When this light fee package is initialized, our K pair are being generated. We can see the case as crypto system dot crypto system itself dot case. As you can see, this stores both private and public K. I don't have to do anything for my case. Now, RSA algorithm is homomorphic with respect to the multiplication or it's multiplicatively homomorphic. I'm going to encrypt two different messages. My first message is going to be 17 and second message is going to be 23. I'm going to use crypto systems encrypt function to encrypt those messages. Plain X is going to be M1 for my first ciphertext. And similarly, I'm going to encrypt my second plain text as ciphertext to C2. Let's see our ciphertext values. This is the first ciphertext and this is the second ciphertext. We can perform decryption operations as well. Crypto system dot decrypt and I'm going to pass ciphertext one and this should be equal to message itself. As you can see, decryption is also working. Let's do same thing for second ciphertext. As I mentioned, RSA algorithm is multiplicatively homomorphic. That's why I can multiply those ciphertext values. And if I decrypt this multiplication, this should be equal to multiplication of plain texts. 
as you can see this condition is satisfied because RSA algorithm is homomorphic with respect to the multiplication but RSA algorithm is not homomorphic with respect to the addition so what if I try to perform addition on ciphertext this should return an exception because RSA is not homomorphic with respect to the addition as expected this is returning an error and it says RSA is not homomorphic with respect to the addition so we have shown the homomorphic feature of RSA algorithm and let's try something what additively homomorphic features let's try parallel algorithm I'm going to import the library first and build the Pager crypto system second my messages are going to be the same and I'm going to encrypt those plain texts with the build payer crypto system decryption operations should work still but payload algorithm is not homomorphic with respect to the multiplication as you can see here so this operation should return an exception and it says payload algorithm is not homomorphic with respect to the multiplication this is expected but what if I decrypt the addition of those cipher texts this should be equal to addition of plain texts as you can see this condition is satisfied because payload algorithm is additively homomorphic this addition operation can be performed on a cloud server and as you can see you don't have to have anything you don't have to have the case to perform this operation but once this operation is performed if you have the key you can decrypt it and you can still have the addition of plain texts this is the pretty solution of homomorphic encryption besides most of additively homomorphic encryption algorithms also support multiplication with a plain constant this doesn't mean they are multiplicatively homomorphic I'm going to show for example I have a constant value 5 if I multiply my ciphertext with this constant value and if I decrypt this this should be equal to first plain text times k this doesn't make the crypto system multiplicative homomorphic because RSA was multiplicative homomorphic and as you can see we can perform multiplications on ciphertext but if I try to multiply ciphertexts with payload crypto system I'm getting error and it says payload algorithm is not homomorphic with respect to multiplication these are different concepts but still I can perform multiplication on ciphertext and finally most of additively homomorphic encryption algorithms support regeneration of ciphertext let's show this firstly let's see the first ciphertext and I'm going to regenerate the ciphertext again let's set c1 new and I'm going to call crypto system dot regenerate ciphertext and pass ciphertext one as input and let's see what is c1 new this should be different than c1 itself as you can see these are different but what if I decrypt those c1 and c1 new crypto system dot decrypt c1 is equal to 17 and crypto system dot decrypt c1 new it's equal to 17 again so one plain text can be represented with different ciphertexts you can call this regenerate ciphertext function many times to have stronger ciphers what's more we have mentioned multiplicatively and additively homomorphic encryption algorithms until now and also we have a Goldwasser Nikali algorithm and it's homomorphic with respect to the XOR gate let's see it I'm going to build a Goldwasser Nikali crypto system and I'm going to encrypt those plain texts still decryption operation should work but when I try to add cipher texts I'm going to have an exception because Goldwasser Nikali is not homomorphic with respect to the addition similarly if I try to perform multiplication on cipher texts I'm going to have an exception and it's going to mention that this algorithm is not homomorphic with respect to the multiplication on the other hand this algorithm is homomorphic with respect to the exclusive or and in Python this can be performed with this symbol if I decrypt this operation I should have 
plain text 1 XOR plain text 2 as you can see this condition is satisfied because gold fossil nickelic crypto system is homomorphic with respect to the XOR so in this video we have mentioned several partially homomorphic encryption algorithms and some of them are multi multiplicatively homomorphic some of them are additively homomorphic and one of them is exclusively homomorphic and crypto systems can be built with lightweight python package with a few lines of code and you can also perform encryption decryption easily moreover you can perform homomorphic encryptions according to the algorithm you picked while building the crypto system this can be multiplication addition or xor if you do like the package please stir it because you can support this work with stirring the repo also if you do like the video please like it and do not forget to subscribe to the channel thank you all for watching and see you next time